looming over the streets of Lower Manhattan without lights or windows. It's called the Long Lines Building. 33 Thomas Street has been a source of intrigue and mystery to some New Yorkers. Others simply pass by its brutalist architecture that can resemble a jet engine or a rocket ship waiting to take off. The concrete facade has been impenetrable for many years. But new documents leaked by whistleblower Edward Snowden to online journal The Intercept broke a bombshell story earlier this year. It appears that the Long Lines building is one of the NSA's most crucial eavesdropping hubs in the U.S., codenamed Titan Point. The Long Lines building is the NSA's dark town. When I went to the building recently, I saw only a dimly lit lobby. But there is someone who's been able to make it through security. That's Stanley Greenberg, a Brooklyn photographer who got access to part of the building in 1992 for a book he was doing called Invisible New York. I caught up with Greenberg at his studio to ask him what he saw inside. And I said, where are those? And they said, that's our battery backup. The building is owned and still operated by AT&T, which uses the facilities inside Titan Point to switch long distance calls overseas. It's a perfect opportunity for spying. Documents leaked by Snowden don't mention the address by name, but they place it in Lower Manhattan and put it in proximity to the FBI's New York headquarters, which is virtually next door. In addition to that, the documents show that Titan Point is connected to a secret NSA program named Blarney, authorized to spy on entities including the International Monetary Fund and countries all over the world. Inside the building, NSA equipment allegedly interfaces with AT&T's, downloads the data, and sends it to NSA headquarters in suburban Maryland. And do you have an opinion of what the NSA is doing and how they're doing it on American soil, right in your city? Oh, I, I thought before this that they're prying too much into people's private lives. You know, it's when, when you read about the billions and billions of emails that they've sifted through, it, it, it's going too far, I think. But he has made a career out of showing New Yorkers hidden spaces throughout the city, places that normally escape public view. This is the valve chamber up in the Bronx where the water comes in from the supply and goes out. He showed me his photos, including one taken in a not usually seen spot in Ellis Island, the morgue, where the bodies of immigrants were brought to be buried. Nobody had photographed this room, which was one of the creepiest places I've ever been in. Why was it so creepy? Just, you know, totally decayed, but untouched in 50 years, probably. It's abandoned now. Stanley is old school and believes that a great photo can really tell you something about a place even if you never go there. He says there's good reason to showcase infrastructure inside and out to its public. We've become much more secretive about our infrastructure and I think that's a shame because we pay for it and we, you want people to care about it and take care of it. And be proud of it, right? Yeah, right. 